Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kyle and today we're going to be talking about how to boost your FPS to the best that you possibly can in any of the games that you play. So like PUBG, Escape from Tarkov, Minecraft, Counter-Strike, any game like that or I mean any game in general. Hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to see a major difference in your FPS. So what I'm thinking that we'll get is at least a 20 to 30 bump increase or even more and if we do just go ahead and leave a like on this video it does help a lot and i would really appreciate it and if you want to become a part of the notification squad to just know whenever i upload another video and just to stay tuned just go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that little bell notification right next to it and let's just get right into it so the first thing you want to do is just go down to here and just type in percent temp percent or you could just click the little windows key on your keyboard and then click r and type in the same exact thing percent temp percent and it'll bring up this window right here now what you want to do is just go ahead and select all of this now that takes a while just dragging and selecting all of them an easier way you can just control a and then hit delete on your keyboard or just right click and then delete and what this does it'll pretty much just free up a lot more space also, you might get an error that says like this, try again or skip, or you might get the administrative continue. Um, that one's pretty much just telling you that, that the file is too big to pretty much delete and put inside your recycle bin. So you wanna just go ahead and click continue on that and I promise you'll be fine. It's just gonna clear up even more space. Anyways, if you do get something like this, then it's pretty much telling you that you can't delete it only because it's still being used by other applications like this. I'm still using this in my Adobe Creative Cloud, which is my Premiere Pro, my Adobe After Effects, things like that. So I can't really delete that. And yeah, that's pretty much what that is. So yeah, there is going to still be some things that you'll need in this folder, but for the most part, you won't really need anything. Uh, most of it is just junk inside of here and that's about it. And once you do delete all of these, what you wanna do is go ahead and head over to this PC and then right click on the one that has the logo sign of your hard drives. And just go ahead and right click on this and click properties and once you do that just go ahead and click disk cleanup right here and what it's going to do is pretty much just tell you how much space you can delete so as you can see if we go right here and just check all these boxes i could delete 11.6 gigabytes now i do have some important stuff in my download so i'm probably gonna have to move it after this video but everything in my recycle bin that we just deleted is all right here all we want to do is just go ahead and click ok so after you did that, just go over to the tools tab up here and what you want to do is go ahead and click this little check mark. Just click scan drive. So what this will do, it'll just scan for any errors that are possibly on your hard drive itself. So after it's done scanning your hard drive, you might have errors or you might not. I did not have anything, but if you do, then it'll just show you ways to fix it and you can just go ahead and do that. And after you finish that, just go ahead and click close and then go right down to here and click optimize. So after you do that, then this window should pop up and it'll say scheduled optimization right here and it'll be set by default to on and frequency weekly. So as you can see for my hard disk drive, it says 31220 and I mean, yeah, it's pretty much weekly and then these two, I'm not too sure. I don't really think it's weekly, but that's fine. Anyways, what you want to do is go to whatever your hard drive that you want to optimize and just click on it and click optimize right here. It does take a while, so just go ahead and do that and after you're done, just come back to this video. So after you did all those steps, just go over here to the search bar and just type in control or just type in C and it'll just pop up right here, control panel. What you wanna do is just search control panel and type in power and once you get to this power option, just go ahead and click this. And what you wanna do is make sure it's on high performance and this will give you the best possible performance for your computer. And if you don't see it right here, just go ahead and click this drop down menu and it should just pop up right here. So after that, just go ahead and click back to this control panel and just type in advanced. And just go ahead and click this view advanced system settings. And once you click that, you should be under the advanced tab and just go ahead and go to performance and click settings. So after you do that, this window should pop up for you. And what you want to do is click adjust for best performance. Once you do click this setting, your windows will look pretty ugly. I'm not going to lie, but it does help your FPS a lot. And people have also said that it has helped them a ton. So I'd highly recommend it if you're trying to get the best possible FPS in your games. So that's going to be it for this option right here. And one last option that I have for you guys is if you have an NVIDIA video, Video card then just go and click nvidia control panel and once this pops up just go and click manage 3d settings right here and once you're on this window just go and copy every single setting that i have right here i'll just scroll down for you guys so you guys can see everything i have tested this a lot and over the years i've just figured out that these are the best possible settings that you can put for your control panel so that is going to be the end of this video i hope you guys did enjoy and again if it did help you in any way if it got you that 30 plus fps boost or even 10 i'd highly appreciate it if you 
you just left a like on this video. And if you're feeling extra sick today, I mean, just go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that bell notification right next to it. I'd highly appreciate it. And again, like always, I'll see you in the next one. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no loving, that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined.